Wrestling, Haddon Township versus Morristown, December 19th, 1992. This is an away meet being held at Morristown High School. Yes. Joe Scott is wrestling for Morristown. Check Kevin Farnham is wrestling for Haddon Township. Team score at this time is 38 for Haddon Township, nine for Morristown, and that was a very pretty takedown done by Kevin Farnham. It's like an ankle pick. Two nothing should be the score uh, in favor of Kevin Farnham. The person who's keeping the uh, scoreboard is a little bit remiss. Kevin Farnham has Joe Scott in a cradle and tilted towards his back. And a pin with a minute and 10 seconds left in the first period. Very nice job done by Kevin Farnham. Wrestling, Haddon Township versus Delran. December 21st, 1992. This is an away meet being held at Delran High School. <laughs> wrestling for Haddon Township. Pat Duff is wrestling for Delran. Two-point takedown is awarded to Kevin Farnham. Come on, Patty. Neutral is awarded to Pat Duff. The score is 2-1 in favor of Kevin Farnham over Pat Duff. Two-point takedown for Kevin Farnham. The score is 4-2 now. The reason the score is 4-2 is two takedowns for Kevin Farnham and two neutrals for Pat Duff. Kevin Farnham gets another takedown and had Pat Duff tilted towards his back, however, didn't get any back points for it. Pat, you can't roll through that thing. Kevin Farnham has Pat Duff on his back, scores 6 2 in favor of Kevin Farnham over Pat Duff. Three back points are awarded to Kevin Farnham, scores 9 2 in his favor over Pat Duff. End of the period. Part of the second period, Kevin Farnham deferred. Pat Duff elected the top position. Top position, of course, is the offensive position. One point neutral should be awarded to Kevin. Scores 10-2 in favor of Kevin Farnham over Pat Duff. Kevin Farnham takes Pat Duff down and takes him right down to his back. Scores 12-2 in favor of Kevin Farnham over Pat Duff. Kevin Farnham has Pat Duff tilted towards his back. Should get three back points out of that, making the score 15-2 in favor of Kevin Farnham. Watch the arm. Watch the arm. Just the game. <laughs> Belly down, Pat. Farnham has Pat Duff in a cradle and rocked over on his back. About 54 seconds are left in the period and a pin for Kevin Farnham with 52 seconds left in the period.
Wrestling, Haddon Township versus Woodbury, December 23rd, 1992. This is an away meet being held at Woodbury High School. 60 pound weight class, Kevin Farnham is wrestling for Haddon Township. And Jason Bopp is wrestling for Woodbury. Two-point takedown should be awarded to Kevin Farnham and is Kevin Farnham. Let's Jason Buff up. Score now with a takedown and then letting up again. Should be four to three in favor of Kevin Farnham. Or four two, excuse me, in favor of Kevin Farnham over Jason Buff. Now it should be six to two in Kevin Farnham's favor. He allows Jason Buff up, making the score six three. Two point takedown for should be awarded to Kevin Farnham and is. And there's a injury timeout now for Jason Buff with a score at 8 3 in favor of Kevin Farnham over Jason Buff. I'm happy to report Jason Buff ended up okay. Kevin Farnham lets him up, make the score 8 4 in favor of Kevin Farnham over Jason Buff. Kevin Farnham takes Jason. Buff right down in a headlock throw, making the score 10-4 in his favor over Jason Buff and a pin with 48 seconds left in the first period. Haddon Township versus Collingswood, January 6, 1993. This is an away meet being held at Collingswood High School. <clears throat> Kevin Farnham is wrestling for Haddon Township. Yader Barcaro is wrestling for Collingswood. Takedown should be awarded to Kevin Farnham. And a dangerous position. position called it. First period. The start of the second period, Yader Bacaro from Collingswood elected the defensive position, which is the bottom position. Kevin Farnham from Haddon Township is winning by a score of two to nothing over Yader Bacaro.
Kevin Farnham has Yader Bacaro tilted over towards his back. Three back points were awarded to Kevin Farnham, making the score 5 0 in his favor over Yader Bacaro. We have 55 seconds left in the second period. About 46 seconds left in the second period with Kevin Farnham winning by a score of 5-0 over Yeda Picaro from Collinsville. Kevin Farnham from Haddon Township elected the defensive position, which is the down position. He's winning by a score of 8-0 over Yader Pacaro from Collins. Kevin Farnham should get a two-point reversal, making the score 10-0 in his favor over Yader Pacaro. One point is awarded to Yader Barcaro because of illegal movement done by Kevin. A minute and 37 seconds left in the third period. Scores 10-1 in favor of Kevin Farnham over Yader Barcaro. One point should be awarded, I think, to Yader Barcaro. And now a two-point takedown should be awarded to Kevin Farnham. Farnham is trying to tilt Yader Barcaro over, score is 12 2 in Kevin Farnham's favor. One point neutral is awarded to Yader Barcaro, making the score 12 3 with 57 seconds left in the third period. Kevin Farnham is in on a uh, double leg and gets a two point takedown, making this for 14-3 in his favor. One point neutral awarded to Yader Barcaro, making the score of 14-4. And they're off the mat. Kevin Farnham's in on a single leg. Two-point takedown for Kevin Farnham, making the score 16-4 in his favor. End of the match, final score, 16-4 in favor of Kevin Farnham. fans from Collingswood High School. It's Colonial Conference Wrestling here on Garden State Cable TV. Hi, I'm Cammie Trinidad. Kevin Farnham is coming back off a uh, dislocated finger. When you catch his left hand, you'll see the fact that it's, uh, he has two fingers taped together. So Kevin Farnham, who was a senior for Haddon Township against Yader Barcaro is a senior for Collins, or let, excuse me, junior for Collinswood. Farnham, of course, was a district and regional champ last year at 145. Barcaro was second in the districts last year at 152 and is off to a five and one start. High crotch into a single by Farnham. Barcaro blocks off, ties up. Looks like he's looking duck under attempt by Farnham. Barcaro tries to counter with a headlock, loses it. Farnham's got the takedown. 
Two now, two nothing in favor of Kevin Farnham. Farnham's a very physical wrestler. Grab ride right in off the start by Farnham. Has a two on one, loses it as Barcaro's coming out. Farnham regains control, has a navy or a in between the legs. Again, we're gonna have potentially dangerous. So 57 seconds left in the first period, still 2 0 Kevin Farnham's favor over Yader Barquero. Farnham again with that crab ride in half. It's for cross face. Again trying to hit a tilt. Barquero bellies down to get out of trouble. Trying to attempt or attempt to get hand control to get back up. Farnham has a near arm airplane or a head lever. Again, Farnham still controlling that near arm. One on one on the far side. Ocaro builds back out of that, trying to get up to his base. Farnham with a hammer lock. Traps it to the body. Two nothing in favor of Kevin Farnham as we go into the second period here, 160. Barcaro has choice and elects to take down. Sit out, uh, turn in attempt by Barcaro. Barnum stays right behind him. As the near arm traps. Again, has that hammer lock. Now he's got to turn something with that cami. Just can't sit up there and ride it. Barcaro trying to get his arm free, trying to work up. Barnum now looking for a cradle. Goes in a cross body ride. Barcaro could be in trouble. Yeah, he looks for, there he's trying to force it at Jacobs. He's already gotten two back points. Jacobs goes into an arm bar, puts the leg out, comes out to the side, throws a half. Gets a total of five, now five, nothing in favor of Kevin Farnham. But Got Cammy, I'll tell you, if Barcaro can keep it just to a decision, that's a victory for Collingsworth at this point. Again, Farnham with that hammer lock. He hasn't too, had too much success running it. And you can see the official very, very... Um, well, the way he's running the shoulder, that's potentially dangerous, and he's going to get called for stalling eventually. And this is now several indications here, and Ron Hamrick has gone over to the uh, scores table. He'd like a conference. Well, what you could have happen, I've seen it happen on rare occasions, where one wrestler keeps running a move into potential danger. You can be warned the next time he's going to be penalized for unnecessary roughness. Or for stalling. And Ray Fenimore explaining it to Ron Hamrick. I think Ron's trying to get a call on that, and he's not going to get it at this point. I think really his contention is, you know, he's not running, he's just simply using it to punish him and ride him. Carroll's almost rolled onto his back there as Farnham again has that crab ride in. Two on one. Or Carroll works his arm free. Farnham again with a hammer lock. Now he's either got a bar to forearm when he gets that in, Cammy come out to the front. He's got to run it in some fashion. 
Barnum again crab ride trying to tilt or care trying to throw himself over but instead throws himself to his back. As the period ends, it's three near fall for Farnham to extend his lead to eight nothing. As we go into the third period, Kevin Farnham leads at eight nothing. An overall team score: Collingswood 24, Hatton Township 23. Care a tight waist. Trying to work up under the arm near side into a half. Farnham trying to get hand control. Hits a Peterson. Doesn't quite get it, but still gets a reversal. Had Barcaro almost to his back momentarily, but uh, Barcaro slips free. We have 10 0 score now in favor of Kevin Farnham. Here we go. One point. Unnecessary roughness. And we have Ron Hammer coming out on the mat as uh, he's trying to check his. Now, what's bad here for Haddon Township, if Barcaro cannot continue due to an illegal move and a penalized point here, Barcaro wins by injury default over Farnham. Okay, and Ron Hammer there with the official and the trainer from Haddon Township. As we've said many times before on the air, you know, the trainers have a significant role. Now, Farnham, you know, Miller should have told Farnham during the timeout, you know, you got to quit working that arm. That whole combination with that hammer lock is not working. He hasn't worked the whole match. Go to something else. He's been penalized now. He's got to be careful. And he's coming back out. Okay, he puts the headgear back on. Well, Carroll looks like he may have lifted a few weights. I believe he also played football That's for the correct. Collingswood Panthers, who had a very nice season this year, and it's quite a surprise coming back uh, after a championship season, losing, I believe, 18 seniors from their team. They had a very good year, and of course, they lost to the top teams in the Colonial Conference. Or Carroll with the escape. Farnham with a double leg. Now, that's a smart strategy. He's having trouble working from on top, so why not, you know, let him up, take him down. Work for the major that way, or work for a pinning combination off the takedown. Farnham again trying to tilt, looking for his cradle. 12-2 now in favor of Kevin Farnham with a minute five left in this match. Farnham, Farnham lets him up. 12-3 now. 54 seconds to go. Again, Farnham in on a double. Barcaro trying to counter, but gets taken down. Farnham lets him right up. 14-4. 40 seconds left. Farnham again on a double. Barcaro with an overhook trying to counter. Almost stepped over as they go out of bounds. Thing is, Cammy, if Barcaro could get one takedown here, actually wouldn't be quite enough. He'd need two or actually four points, takedown back points, to take it down to a uh, regular decision. Farnham in on the single, nice shot. Trying to elevate. Barcaro trying to counter. Farnham with a two. So it's now 16-4 in favor of Farnham. 11 seconds left to go, 160. Farnham in the driver's seat with a major decision. And what we have here, Farnham with a 16 to four win. It's a major because he has beaten his opponent by more than eight points. Regular decision is by less than eight. And of course, if he scores 50. Wrestling, Haddon Township versus Pensgrove, January 9th, 1993. 
This is a home meet being held at Haddon Township High School. Fast, Kevin Farnham is wrestling for Haddon Township. Mike Berry is wrestling for Pensgrove, and they're off the mat. Kevin Farnham's in on a uh, single leg. Two point takedown, I would think, should be awarded to Kevin Farnham. And it is. And they're off the mat. Farnham is starting with a freestyle start that gave one point to Mike Berry, making the score 2 1 in favor of Kevin Farnham over Mike Berry. Kevin Farnham is in on a single leg, and he takes Mike Berry down. However, he's not got control yet. Two-point taken. That should be awarded to Kevin Farnham, making the score 4-1 in his favor over Mike Berry. All right, Kevin, there it is. One point neutral, should be awarded to Mike Berry. And he may have gotten kicked in the face act. Four is four two in favor of Kevin Farnham over Mike Berry. Kevin Farnham is again in on a single leg. Kevin Farnham has Mike Berry till the down and Colich sort of forges back, however, doesn't really have him on his back yet. End of the period. Start of the second period, Kevin Farnett from Haddon Township elected the defensive position, which is the down position. He's winning by a score of 6-2 to two over Mike Berry from Pensgrove. Reversal should be awarded to Kevin Farnham, making the score 8-2 in his favor over Mike Perry. <laughs> Kevin Farnham is winning by a score of 10-4. Now it's 10-5 over Mike Perry. Score now is 12-5. And they're off the mat. Score is 12-6 in favor of Kevin Farnham over Mike Berry with about 40 seconds left in the second period. Kevin Farnham's in on a double leg. And I would think he should get a takedown. We'll have to, have to wait and see. Score is 14 to 6. Now 14 to 7 in favor of Kevin Farnham over Mike Berry. We have about 28 seconds left in the second period. Kevin Farnham is in on a single leg. And should get a two-point takedown out of this. About nine seconds are left in the uh, second period, so I don't think Kevin Farnham will let him up. We're 16 to seven in favor of Kevin Farnham. Now 16-8. Since uh, Mike Berry elected the bottom position at the start of the third period. Two-point takedown should be awarded to Kevin Farnham.
We've got a minute and 25 seconds left in the third period with Kevin Farnham winning by a score of 18 K. Farnham is again starting with a freestyle start, freestyle start, excuse me for stuttering. 